Welcome to Union Talk. What's up, Union brothers and sisters out there? Uh, were you showing your red today for Solidarity Red Wednesdays, or is that, uh, you know, going by the wayside now that we're back to work? Mr. Rory Gamble has taken the seat of the president of the UAW. He was vice president. He moved into the president's seat now. How do you all feel about that? I did some research on him and uh, he moved up through the ranks, through the proper channels as he should have. But with him being the vice president, do you think he knows anything about what's going on? And also if he's taken over, who did he learn from? Who took him up under his wing? you know, and guided him through what uh, he needed to do to get to the spot where he's at and what he has served. I'm not taking nothing away from the man because he did start on the line. And like I said, as the research I did, he did move up the channels like he was supposed to properly. But I think he needs to get on a campaign and he needs to start visiting locals when we have our union meetings to apologize to the UAW membership face to face instead of sending out letters and telling us how he's so happy to have this position now and take this position. Uh, not once in what I saw that how he was gonna change the look of the UAW and how the UAW looks very messy right now. All right, jump into the comments and let me know how you feel. Uh, it's just a question I got out there. How do you really feel about this? You know? My personal opinion is the UAW needs to be restructured from the top down because that's where the corruption is at, at the top. And then it needs to trickle down into the locals because there's corruption inside the locals too. And it's time for the UAW, it's time for us members as UAW members. It's time for a new regime in the UAW. Just like GM came in and said, it's the new GM. And the mistakes that they made in the past, they said that was the old GM. Well, here at Union Talk, I am here to say that it's time for a new UAW because what has happened, that's the old UAW. So it's time for us to revamp the UAW because it looks real messy right now. And once again, I'm gonna say, Mr. Gamble, I am putting pressure on you and I hope my subscribers and other people who follow Union Talk put pressure on you to come look at us UAW members face to face. It's time for you to start campaigning because we need to see you face to face. We need an apology. And we need to know if these allegations are true that's what we need to know. So I suggest you start getting some uh, plane tickets, getting some dates, because you're gonna be busy in 2020. And that's it from here at Union Talk. Peace. All right, Union brothers and sisters, here we are at the end of the video. And thank you for joining me for Solidarity Red Wednesdays. And I'm going to start off with my shout outs. And I'm going to start with the place, the union I was born at, Local 31 and KCK, Local 1853, Tennessee. Who else we got out there? Local 2250, which is down the street here in the MO. Local 249, which is across the bridge in the MO. The four brothers and sisters out there. Local 276 in Arlington, Texas. Who else? Oh, I wanna send a shout out to Local Teamsters 396 in Beverly Hills, California. The sanitation workers are fighting over labor disputes, 
pay and all that. I just want to let y'all know that Union Talk is standing strong with y'all. Solidarity to the max, all right? And also local Teamsters uh, 25 in South Boston. Want to send a shout out to you guys. The Locomotive Canada Division 25. Want to send a shout out to y'all. Y'all still on strikes and standing in solidarity with y'all over here at Union Talk. And also, last but not least, I want to give a shout out to local 2164 in Bowling Green, Kentucky, the home of the Corvette. Peace. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to subscribe. Turn on your notifications. Peace.